Hello, this is Alexis and today I'm going to talk about different foot positioning to consider when riding your electric unicycle. I will refer to foot positioning that I have tried and practiced myself. Just bear in mind that I'm not a pro rider. My knowledge is based on my personal experience and my level of EUC skill is at about an intermediate level, both for off-road and on-road. So, without further ado, let's get started. There are four main types of foot positioning that uh, I'd like to discuss. The parallel foot stance, the duck foot stance, the split foot stance, and a mixed foot stance that accounts for a multitude of variations that these positions can take. In practice, these positioning don't need much thinking and can depend on a variety of factors, such as the type of wheel used, pads, pedals, shoes, etc. However, there are some situations where it can turn out to be useful trying and knowing different stances, such as when carving, jumping, turning sharply, at high speed, etc. There could be also instances whereby new riders might struggle with the concept and can find different ways of practicing um, quite useful. Moving on, now I will get into a bit more details on each one. The parallel foot stance is defined when both feet are equally distanced to each other. The legs are usually located in the middle of the wheel and the toes might be rotated slightly inwards and the anterior aspect of the knee and shin touching the wheel and toward the pads. This is the position I prefer when off-roading as it gives me the best agility at lower speeds. The duck foot stance is defined when the toes are pointing outwards, whether the legs are usually in the middle of the wheel with the calf and posterior aspect touching the UC and controlling mostly its weight and movements. This is the position I prefer when riding on roads because it provides the fastest and smoothest response during turns. I consider it as the carver foot position. The split foot stance occurs when one foot is noticeably more forward than the other, whereby one leg is at the back of the wheel and the other at the front. This is the position I prefer when I practice bunking or backwards riding, since I can promptly switch the weight from the front to the back of the wheel and vice versa. This position also allows me to feel a faster response, while maintaining the stability of the UC when accelerating, braking and bunking in conjunction with appropriate power pads. However, turning fluently with this position can be a bit tricky and could require applying different techniques to adapt to this asymmetrical foot stance especially when turning to tire speeds. Just as a side note, with bunking, I mean lifting the wheel over small obstacles. Finally, the mixed foot positioning represents the variety to those stances that can be applied in practice. For instance, when I was riding my XN, I had a slightly split foot stance with an asymmetrical toes position, whereby my right toes were pointing straight forward, but my left toes were pointing outwards. This was to compensate for the weight imbalance of the wheel so that I could not feel it anymore. In fact, these mixed foot stances are highly variable and subjective. I'm sure that there are many more stances that I haven't mentioned nor seen yet. However, after about 6,000 miles experience riding on EUC, this is what I've learned so far and practiced myself. I hope it can be useful somehow during your EUC journey. Please let me know in the comments below if I'm unclear or I've missed something so that I can improve and learn further myself. This is all. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.